Welcome back to Likras. This week's Parshas, Parshas Chukas. We're going to work on one half of one Pasuk. This Pasuk is in Bemidbar Kafal Fyodalit, in the book of Numbers 2114. We're only going to do the first half of the Pasuk. The Torah writes, Az Yeomar, Alkain Yeomar, Basevim Echamus Hashem. Therefore, it will be said in the book of the wars of Hashem. We're talking about the different miracles that happened to the Jewish people after the exodus of Egypt, and they had some wars, and it's going to be discussed in the Torah itself, which is called here the Book of the Wars of Hashem. This verse needs some help. What's it talking about? He says, look in Rashi. Rashi learns it's a connecting verse, not really adding too much new. And the Rebbe says, Ain't no Havana. We can't understand anything here. What's he mean? It, we can't understand. It seems very simple. It means he wants something more. You know, he's going to get something more here. That's what we're going to get. Sort of, person sometimes wakes up the wrong side of bed. The day just doesn't seem right. That's what we're going to try to get here. On this verse, this half verse, to help, tell us how to get back on the right side, how to be where we meant to be. Venir the Ramez Bezeh. And we're in the level of Ramez, which we spoke about in the very first and introduction of the level of Ramez, that... Hashem Yisbarach created the world. God made the world, the entire world. Why? Because since Hashem is good, He wants to do good. If you are good, so then to be true to yourself, you have to do good. So to be able to do good, you need someone to receive the good. So therefore Hashem created the world. That's the purpose of the world. Kedosh Baruch made a world of good. With that, there's free choice. And with the free choice, so therefore, there's different spaces and levels, and people can choose to do what's right, or people can choose the other way. And if they choose the other way, so there's some corrective mechanisms that'll be in the world. This is also called Midas Adin. There's a level of judgment. Judgment means you do something wrong, you have to pay the price. If you're not prepared to do the time, so don't do the crime. So with this, this is how the world is set up, primarily good with some corrective mechanisms. So really, the purpose of the mitzvah to have a base of mikdash, the basic idea of base of mikdash, is a korban tamid. Every day there's a sacrifice in the morning and at the end of the day, late afternoon. Why? This is to bring kapara, to erase what happened wrong in the night with the morning sacrifice, to erase what happened wrong in the day with the late afternoon sacrifice. Now, we don't have Beis HaMikdash anymore, so we don't have this level of kapara. So what do we have? We have, we can learn about, we can look at the Torah and learn about the Karbanas that we don't have. And if we connect to the Torah of Hashem, then, by doing so, we'll get a level of kapara. We'll get some cleaning up of ourselves, even though we don't have the korbanis at all. Now, there's a Gemara Rosh Hashanah, Dav Yudzayin Mabes, that quotes Psukim in Sefer Shmos, and it's the, it's the Torah reading that we read on a fast day, and that Torah reading says that the Gemara, which has a drosha, and that Torah reading says it's as if Hashem wrapped himself up in a talis, like a chazan, to teach how to pray. If Kalei Yisrael does this, then they're going to get kapara. That's what the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah says. Now, what's it mean? So if you look carefully at the words, it says, if they do this way. So the simple understanding is it's a, it's a style of how to pray. But it's possible to learn it. The Rebbe wants to learn it. It means you have to do you have to be merciful. You have to be godlike. When you're godlike, that's when you get your kapara. Kapara is correction. Getting the world is meant to be good, and the world's meant to be for you good, and sometimes it's not. Why? Because you weren't so good, and now you need some correction. And when you try to be godlike, you try to be merciful. You try to help people. You try to be positive. This positive makes it that now you're making your side better, you're doing your job, and the whole world becomes better. So that is what this verse is saying. The, the verse says, It should be said in the book of Hashem. Now this word said is hard to understand. This word also has another meaning. The Shorish, Avmem Reish, 
Sometimes in Chumash Devarim in chapter 26, it means Lashon Av and Chiba. It means love. So therefore, if we look at that, there is love in the book of the wars of Hashem. So the book, it means the Torah. So the Torah we have now is a set of Karbanas. Our learning Torah makes it that we can connect, reconnect ourselves to the good side, and if we mess something up, try to correct it. That's what it's doing. So we're doing that, we're increasing divine love in the world, the way it's supposed to be. And that's what it means, the phrase, Milchamas Hashem. Because there's difficulty in the world, and as it were, it's really against the main divine plan. What was the original divine plan that God chose to make the world? To do good, there should be people doing good, and they should be able to receive good. That's really the main plan. And why is it not always that way? Because people with their free will are a little bit moving the opposite direction. So as it were, you could say that it's a war against Hashem. So we look at this verse again, it says, you know what's the way to correct, to bring love when there's war against Hashem, when people have turned the wrong way? With Torah. When we learn Torah, that's our last step left. We don't have basic Mikdash anymore. We can't serve Hashem more. But when we learn Torah, we connect. We connect with the positive. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing. And then we're slowly moving the world to its correct way, to its main way, to the good way, like the world was meant to be created. So remember, you live in a beautiful world. It's fundamentally beautiful. You're a fundamentally beautiful person in a beautiful world. And your job is to remember that. And that's what Terry helps us to do.